Hello YouTube. Okay, this video is going to be about the Hornady 308 30 cal 168 grain boat tail hollow point. These are their match series. The uh, catalog number or part number is 30501. So these are basically Hornady's 308 match grade and 168 grains. So we're going to see how consistent are they. And I'm, I'm thinking they're going to be fairly consistent. I only have two sheets of paper up. And basically what I did is I got some legal size paper, 8.5 by 14. And I drew lines out every half an inch. And I started right here at 168. And I end at 172. Which I don't think we're going to get this far down. And I'm fairly certain we're not going to go that far short of the 168. We might hit 167. But... We're going to be in the in the low 167, not in the high 166. So let's get started. So we got 100 to do. May take a little while. So I understand if you don't watch the whole video, you can always fast forward and, and go to the end. Now I did do, do a similar video for the XTPs in 9mm just to see how consistent they were. You might want to take a look at that one. So we'll just see how these 308s do and if we can get a good match. Uh, my local store had a big stock of these and so if they're if they're fairly consistent I'm going to stick with these and I noticed when I was purchasing them the lot numbers were they were all from the same lot so I can still go back and get some more. Alright the scale we're going to be using is going to be the MTM scale. Now it's not a high tech scale. It's plus or minus a tenth of a grain, just like everything. But for our purposes, I think it's going to work great. So let's get started. Man, these are, I tell you what, these are pretty bullets. First impression, they look nice. Of course, I guess if you're a loader, <laughs> you really like the way bullets look. And I'm thinking 167.9. I think we're going to stay pretty much right in here. I don't think we're gonna, it's going to be to the extreme. But I just wanted to uh, have enough just to make sure. Uh-oh. So these are going to be, if they group fairly well in weight, I'm going to keep all these for the Savage. I'm going to try to go to a uh, shoot in a week or two. It's going to be a 500 yard and try my, try my new little rifle out. You know, the little Savage Axis has got the trigger pull like it's on safe. And I'm just, I'm throwing these to the back so I don't have to scrunch them all up. That's probably what I should have done with these others. So that way there wouldn't be, my little fat fingers wouldn't be in the way. So this is fairly easy to do. If you got some paper, you can do it and a marker and if you've got a like a fine tip sharpie if you stack your paper and when you draw it out you hold your you know put your dots there for a half inch if you hold it there for a little bit and then when you draw your lines I just use a shell uh, shell holder or cartridge holder like I reload with and when I go to draw it, I'll put my pen down and I'll hold it for a second, then I'll draw and then I stop on that other end and that dot will bleed through so you only have to measure out one sheet. So that makes it a whole lot easier. Yeah, these may line out so well that I probably need that distance this way. Which will, will be okay. I can just convert a number over here if we fill this up. 
Now, did I? What am I doing there? 68.3. I almost messed up, but it weighed the same. Maybe I didn't almost mess up. So far, my spread is 167.9 to 168.5, which is really a, a uh oh, which is really a, a decent spread. These are so close, I could probably use a bucket. And, and don't even really need to line them out. So I could, I could probably have like a little bucket. And of course, my tabletop is not smooth. These boat tails you know, tip over. But I could probably... Uh, dust on that. I could probably just have buckets with the, with the tents on there. And it would probably work better... Then drawing out the lines. Uh oh. 0. 0.4, 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5. So I'm thinking I'm going to keep this video kind of short instead of going through every one of them. I'm just not seeing an extreme spread on these. And you normally don't when it comes to. Uh, Hollow point boat tails. Just because the manufacturing process makes it so consistent. Now, if we were doing full metal jackets, that'd be a different story. They we'd probably need three sheets of paper. But because the way these bullets are engineered, you know, they're basically a cup is expanded out, and then they go to form it and shape it when they when they basically press the lead in there and shape it, all the lead's pretty consistent. Versus going in this way through the bottom and you're filling the top, not quite as consistent. You get air pockets up there, so. Little dust on there. Yeah, we'll probably call this a uh, video here. Because I don't see him going past 169 at all. These are just going to be... They're going to be good. Of course, well, I'm going to continue to do this. And I'll sort them out just to see how many I have. And I may take a snapshot photo. And, if, and I may include that. Because I don't have any edit, editing software yet. I may take a photo of where they're laying out. And just have that as the uh, as the picture you see when you go to the video. I may do that. That way you can kind of see if you go back to the video when you get through watching it, you can look at the cover and say, okay, well that's where they landed. Because yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be real consistent. I, I tell you what, I'm pleased. I'm very pleased. I'm I'm shocked because you get a the quantity is a hundred versus if I went and got another higher brand name. You know, I, these were thirty. If you buy them by the hundred, they're they're usually about thirty four, thirty five bucks, depending on your retailer. You may get them a little bit less. You may have to pay a little bit more. But normally for that price, for a higher grade match bullet which would be probably more consistent than these you're going to pay that but only get half the quantity so really not bad um i think i'm going to be pleased with them i think these are going to do great like i said i'm going to continue sorting them out and maybe take a photo and that will be our cover so anyway that's the uh the weighing in or how consistent the Hornady 30 cal 168 grain boat tail hollow point match bullets are. So I'm going to say that's a buy. I haven't shot them yet, but based on the weight, I'm liking. Um, I'm sure the length's going to be fine. 
if you're measuring from the ogive, I don't know about the tip, you know, that's never perfect for the tip, but consistency with weight, I'm pleased. Right now we're at 167.9 grains is the lightest and you only have two there. And we have one at 168.6. So I don't know, we're not, we're probably 20% done, maybe a little bit more. So that's, I'm pleased. I, I don't even have to video anymore. All right, you guys, uh, check out my other video on the H, uh, XTPs. See what you think about it. It's a little lengthy, but hey, I like to talk. And uh, share a couple and uh, definitely subscribe. Talk to you guys. Bye.